My name is Edward Zhang. In this video, I'm going to argue that directional change is particularly good for handling tick-to-tick -tick data. This video assumes knowledge of directional change. If you are not familiar with directional change, you may refer to Appendix A of this book or this video. First, let us look at how prices are summarized. The time and price of every transaction in the market are recorded. These are called tick-to-tick -tick data. It is important to note that transactions take place at irregular times. In this artificial data set, there are nine transactions within one particular minute and no transaction within two minutes. Price movements are often summarized as time series. The observers determine how often they want to take a sample. One transaction is recorded per interval. This example shows a minutely time series for the transactions shown. Directional change is a different way of summarizing price movements. It records peaks and troughs in the market. A data point is recorded when a significant price change in the opposite direction of the current trend is observed. The minimum change that is considered to be significant is called the threshold. This example shows a directional change summary with a 5% threshold. This figure shows the difference between time series and directional change, which summarize the same tick-to-tick -tick data. Let us look at time series in detail. First, it is important to note that each data point in time series records the price of the latest transaction before the sampling time. However, it only approximates the transaction time of that transaction, as it is highlighted here. Secondly, when no transactions took place at certain intervals, artificial data points must be created. For example, there is no transaction between these two. So, after the first data point is recorded, Artificial prices must be created. In this example, we simply record the previous price. In a daily closing price series, if the final transaction took place five seconds before the market closes, then the error introduced by this time approximation is only 0.006%, which is insignificant. However, if one were taking minutely time series, a 5 second difference accounts to an error of 8%, which is non-trivial. It could be significant in the calculation of returns. In contrast, directional change records transactions as they are. No approximation is required. Besides, Directional change records all extreme points, which could be missed by time series. Here is an example. Moreover, time series could miss high activities between sampling points. Here is an example. These significant changes are recorded by directional change, but not time series. To increase the chance of recording the extreme points and high activities, one could increase the sampling frequency in time series. However, as explained earlier, increasing the sampling frequency risks increasing the time approximation errors. It would also increase the number of missing data points. Before we carry on, we need to introduce two indicators in directional change. For every trend, 
one could calculate the absolute price movement, ATMV, which is the percentage price change normalized by the threshold. We can also measure the return of each trend, AR. We shall see how these two indicators could help us monitor the market for useful information. After the next transaction, which is a drop beyond the threshold, directional change records this extreme point. The ATMV at this point is 2.9. Historically, we know that about 83% of the directional change happened within this ATMV value. When ATMV reaches 4.2, we know that historically about 95% of directional change happened within this value. So a contrarian trading strategy may act at this point. In fact, if we monitor AR, we shall see that the absolute minutely return at this point is 86%. An alarm could have been raised. The important point to make here is that every single transaction could potentially provide useful information. How one uses the signals is a separate issue. Could similar signals be read under time series? Not quite as this extreme point wouldn't have been recorded under time series. Analysis wouldn't be the same even if one monitors individual transactions under time series. To conclude, extreme points and high activities are all captured by directional change but not necessarily by time series. Sampling in higher frequency in time series helps but that increases the time approximation errors as well as missing data. A single transaction could significantly change ATMV and AR. Hence, directional change is more sensitive to market signals. For these reasons, we argue that directional change is more suitable for handling tick-to-tick -tick data than time series.